Hello everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to modify the channel mask options. So the channel masks come with default options that uh, basically control how the mask looks in um, channels. So like when you make your channel here, it's going to have like this red background and it's going to start off with um, having um, the selection be what's uh, in the white and having what's in the black be in the red color and all that stuff. But Photoshop gives you the ability to change the default options and like for example you could change the uh, color of this red to uh, like a blue if you want. Say you're working on an image that is red and you need to change the color so it works a little better or you could change the uh, the function of the channel mask to like from like a selection to spot color or, or other things like that so knowing that you're able to change these or change these options helps you work better in Photoshop and gives you more control over your final results so let's go ahead and do that take one of your um, channel mask that, you, that you've created already and go ahead and, and double click on it. Let's, uh, there we go. Double click on the thumbnail there. Let me uh, go back and turn it on so we can see what's going on. So in your channel options you have the ability to rename your um, mask. So I'm going to name this uh, moon mask. So the color here that you have it indicates either your masked areas, your selected areas, or the spot color. And you can see that when you change to spot color, it changes the solidity, basically the same thing as opacity. So we're, I'm just going to keep it on masked areas right now, and I'm just going to change the color here. So let's change it to this blue here. I'll hit OK, and then I'll just hit OK real quick. And you can see that the background has been changed to blue. Now, this blue seems to be pretty dang uh, opaque here and not transparent enough. So maybe I want to make the opacity, put it down lower so we can see the background a little bit better. So those are a couple options. If I change this to selected areas, you can see that now the blue is over top of the white area and this has been inversed or inverted I mean if we change this to spot color and you can see that the blue is now the spot color and it's where the um, air, where the uh, selection was so when you send this off to get printed you can have this spot color channel so knowing that you have these options helps you out a lot when you're working on your project. You can also double click on one of these pre-existing channels and nothing will happen. Haha, <laughs> psych. You can't change these ones here because these channels are needed to keep the color intact. So you can double click on your um, other channels here and you can see that when I change this to a spot channel now it has spot channel options and I'll have to just go back in my history here to my channel options and now we have our regular channel options instead of spot channel so if you change it to a spot color be aware that it's going to change it to a spot channel and it's going to um, affect your um, channel in a different way so hopefully that came out clear but that's all I wanted to show you about modifying your channel mask options and hopefully you guys learn something new and you can use all this to your advantage and speed up the process when you're working with the channel masks so thanks for watching everybody thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe and be sure to check it, check out buckysroom.org for more awesome photoshop videos and programming videos and such so have a good day everyone see you later